Tomato is an important crop in Tanzania, but recently a tiny moth has been causing havoc. Tuta absoluta, also called the leaf miner, is an invasive species originating from South America. After finding its way to Spain in 2006, it has since spread throughout Europe, the Middle East and Africa. It arrived in East Africa in 2014. To help farmers control tuta, AVRDC is researching cultural and biological control methods. We are trying to develop some of the technologies as part of the integrated pest management strategy to reduce the chemical use because this insect has the, the track record of developing resistance to many groups of chemical pesticides quite rapidly. Currently, farmers are not informed about tuta and how to control it. They are using harmful and ineffective chemical pesticides. So we are trying uh, to evaluate the available biopesticides like entomopathogenic fungi, bacteria, as well as the pheromones to attract the, the male moths so that we can reduce the population buildup and also we can increase the mortality rates of the insects uh, by spraying these biopesticides. Tuta is a dangerous pest since it can affect tomato at all developmental stages. Females reproduce rapidly, laying up to 260 eggs in a lifespan. Twelve generations can be born in one year. If you look at how tuta has affected our farmers, the threat is, is significant. Traders are complaining, they are losing money, so we really we don't have time. So we, we're supposed to be up in arms now, hit the road running, addressing the problem. AVRDC, along with local partners, have developed an action plan to address the tuta infestation in Tanzania. They are raising awareness through workshops, publications, and outreach work with government and private partners. We are also trying to develop the resistant varieties from the closely related tomato species so that we can incorporate the resistance into the cultivated tomato. This is our new Tuta Absoluta experiment. We are trying to breed this uh, normal cultivated tomato so that we can obtain uh, traits that are resistant. So you can see that there are eight pots of tomatoes. So we are having seven wild species and one cultivated species. We have put them in one screen house, then we are going to introduce some insects. Then at the end of the day, we are going to evaluate the number of insects laid per species. From this research, we expect a lot because you can see promising results. At least the longevity of the insect's life cycle has been reduced using the biopesticides that we are applying in bioassays. And with this uh, research going on, somehow we can encourage farmers to still wait up a little bit, just stay calm. We are working hard and harder every day, day and night, to make sure that we come up with something that is very effective and efficient in controlling this tutor.